Hey everyone, it's Drew here back at VCS 2017 in Las Vegas. I'm joined by Dr. Holly, a dermatologist from Phoenix. Thanks for joining us. I'm happy to be here. How are you doing? How's the show going so far? We are loving it. Okay. We are coming up with some new techniques and we're going to take those back to our practice in Phoenix. So tell me, very, about, very tell me about some of those. Oh, wow. Well, a lot of we them, have huh? new injection techniques. Okay. Um, I had verification about platelet-rich plasma, which mm. is one of the favorite things that I have in my practice. Dr. Steve Diane is also doing scalp treatments, as am I. So here's looking a little bit better now. So uh, like uh, scalp treatments as in like? Hair restoration? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Simple procedure. Okay. We draw two to four vials of blood, and then we inject it into the target area, into okay. the scalp, and we also use it for facial rejuvenation. Gotcha. So he didn't talk about that, but so that's something that we're doing. Based. So you can actually use PRB to help with hair restoration? We can. Interesting. We can. Wow. Well, I didn't know that. Batting almost a 1,000 on that one in our practice. Nice. So really amazing. So is that some of the, one of the sessions you attended here was talking about that a little bit mm -hmm. too? What mm -hmm. other sessions did you attend that you liked? Um, well, I do the non-invasive things. So I do a lot of Botox and fillers. So okay. we're getting some new techniques um, to add to our little toolbox. Yeah. And so that's exciting. Kybella cool. is approved for the submental fullness and there was a guy who was talking about the off-label injection in the jowl area, so that is really exciting. So I'm happy about that. So off, something that will be able to help with uh, wrinkles or sagging of the jowl part? Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. And then another thing that we're really excited about is the InstaLift, which okay. is helping to really lift the mid face and so and that's non-surgical right it's non-surgical it's does just that go? kind of some barbed threads that are in uh, that are inserted into the face and it just lifts your cheeks and seems to help with the neck too how long does that last two years okay great that's what they say yeah great so awesome i've been looking at that for about a year and so now i think we're ready to jump in and cool. to give it a try awesome well good, good luck with that so how, how many times have you been to vcs oh uh, probably about every year for the past five years nice beautiful yeah. so what, what do you Love like it. more about most about this conference versus some of the other conferences you attend well, this conference, to be fair, is a little overwhelming. Yeah. There are all of those venues, so I'm just jumping from one venue to another. There's always something that's new and exciting. Sure. So So a lot to, di lot to digest. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, let's shift gears here a little bit. I'm going to ask you some personal questions here and just get sure. to know you a little more. Okay. What's your favorite color? Uh, red. It's the color of passion. Nice. Do you like sports? I do. Was I used to be a springboard diver. You're kidding me. I did. Nice. I did. And a swimmer. Cool. And uh, But now I don't like to get wet. It dries out your skin. So <laughs> I spin now. Was that like spin? Oh, my wife does spin where you're on the cycle. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Like, I've never done it, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, did you do, were you diving in high school and college or high school? I did. All through college. Okay. Actually, Ivy League champion at Harvard. What? That's amazing. Surprise. That's awesome. Surprise. So you went to Harvard, you were on the diving team, yep. and, and, and you were a champion. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Congrats on that. What were you like in high school? Um, what was I like in high school? I don't know. I was kind of a nerd, I guess. You got so it, I was kind you of said quiet. Harvard, right? Yes. So you, obviously you were studious. So <laughs> I was, You were obviously smart. I was, <laughs> I was a nerd that was involved in sports. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. So Cool. Good stuff. Um, why did you get into... What you're into? Why, why'd you get into der dermatology? Dermatology, I just am very visually oriented. Okay. So I knew the diagnosis when they asked the questions when we were in med school. I thought this is the field for me. Didn't know at the time that it was going to be like the best lifestyle choice of my entire life. Great. But I'm really happy about it. Cool. I'm glad that worked out for you. What do you love most about being a dermatologist? I have patients of all ages. The patients are happy. They see their results. It is the best specialty. Cool. Do you have any unique talents outside of obviously what you do for dermatology and springboard diving? Are you talking about karaoke or yeah, something like absolutely. that? Absolutely. You would not want to hear me sing. <laughs> okay, so not singing. <laughs> not but do you that. like the karaoke? No. I love music okay. and I love jazz okay, and I cool. love to listen, but no singing. Awesome. Okay, cool. Last question. If you can be any animal in the world as a spirit animal, what animal would you be? 
Um, I would be a tiger. I love the spots. I love the look. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, I guess tigers have stripes. Yeah. So, I know what you meant. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm a cat person. So okay. I think that I have to go along those lines. And okay. I want to choose one with pretty colors. Cool. I like the rationale there. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. It was nice getting to know you more. And have a good rest of your show. Thanks a lot, Drew. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, you got it.